Hey, what's up guys? Sadness here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're hopping back into some more Lobotomy Corporation. And last we left off, we... Um, we were doing great. We finished a lot of missions. We got this end of the... End the day without a single death. I think I can do that. And then we also need to promote two agents. And that works out for us because somebody has commented that they want me to create one for them. And so I'm going to head here going to look at what they suggested and I will get this and I'll be back. All right, guys, this is the character that I made. This uh, request came from Quadrilateral Pan and they wanted me to name the employee Kite Pan and they said they want bald and they like whites and blues and I wasn't really quite sure where to go with the whites and blues. But then I seen these white and blue eyes, so that's what I'm going with. All right, we're giving KP these, uh, these paws. And because they're white. And I guess the dog stuff, because... Yeah, white and blue. I'm doing my best here. All right, so what is our new abnormality here? Oh! <gasps> It's another bird. Someone kind of did a slight spoiler and said, don't go for all the birds. But we got another bird and this one looks majestic. Has the eye of Sauron in its chest. Apparently. Okay, anyways, we're gonna try it. I'm gonna go for instinct. Because like I said, if it looks spooky, I always go for instinct. You can do this, Gus. The thing about ones that give you a lot of boxes, if they're easy to do, that's easy energy for the day. Look at that. Gus is going crazy. 20 boxes. Oh, shoot. Cliff Foth Overload. What does that mean? The Firebird. What does WAW mean? Wow. Ooh, at times the Firebird heals wounded employees. I love the Firebird. Okay, the Cliff Off counter decreased. But we got 20, so I'm going to go for all of these just to see what we get. When the, another abnormality escaped in the department in which the Firebird was contained, the Cliff Off counter lowered. When the work result was good, the Cliff Off counter lowered. What? When the work result was normal, the cliff off counter lowered with a low probability. Furthermore, the normal the or the lower the cliff off counter, the more damage agents take while working with the firebird. And when the work result was bad, the cliff off counter increased. Interesting. Gus will not survive this. I'm sorry, Gus. All right, so we uh the Firebird has escaped, and it looks like it is unspecified damage types. Okay, it says that Firebird, if we read here, it says Firebird uh, will go back to the containment unit for after a short while. It's just like Punishing Bird. You don't want to attack it or it will try to murder you. So let's send Sadness over here and let's send Gus over there as well. And we just got to let it do its thing. It's not aggressive until it's not aggressive unless someone attacks it. So, oh, it just, okay. It murdered that guy and that guy. Um, so they still take damage for being in Firebird's presence, but it's not necessarily going to murder everyone for no reason. Need you guys to run. Not quite sure how long, actually, it would be. All right, everyone, the Firebird has returned safe and sound. And we're going to go ahead and read this stuff for you that you haven't seen yet. The Firebird granted light to Alex, who worked with it when the Cliff Off counter was one. Alex's HP and SP were restored and healed over time for a while. And when an agent had complete... had. Less than 20% of their max HP remaining after the work order was finished, the Firebird granted the same light. After escaping, the Firebird w eventually willingly returned to its containment unit after a short while. The Firebird only displayed aggression after it was damaged. 
and the employee whose HP or SP reached zero from its attacks died. When the Firebird was attacked, the eyes of the who injured it were scorched by the light emitted by the abnormality. Blinded employees work at half speed, but the Firebird cured the eye injury when they finished the work process. So that's why I was killing all those clerks, I suppose. You can see all their charred corpses. Uh, because the clerks probably automatically attack it. Um, this day was pretty brutal for the clerks, I gotta say. But for now, we're just gonna... Keep leveling up Pumpkin and Kite Pan, and we will see you at the end of the day. Look, they're killing, they're killing each other. Firebird just killed Punishing Bird. Awesome. All right, and then I suppose Firebird's going back now. Not so bad. All right. We had a meltdown, by the way, and uh, that's why all of this stuff is like this. All right, guys, we finished the Firebird information. You can see attachment repression is all common, and then instinct is high if you have max level instinct. And you can see we also have... Um, Father of Honor Ego Suit, that looks pretty cool, and Father of Honor Hat, which that's plus 2 SP, plus 4 movement speed, and plus 4 attack speed, so that seems pretty cool, and I would definitely happily take that for either one of these guys, but I think that should wrap it up, we're gonna let you finish here, Kite Pan, and then we're gonna wrap up the day, and hopefully two people got a promotion, no one died, except for a lot of clerks, but I assume that's normal in this company. So, let's end the workday. You can see we got an S rank. Only one promoted. Does it have to be in the same day? Two promotions? And it was Lynn, surprisingly. Eventually, intellect loses all meaning as they forget even how to exist. It literally makes itself into the safest place on Earth. Or this portrait and captures a moment. It is what we are destined to lose. I'm gonna go for this one. I don't know, that seems bad as well. Forgetting how to exist. Yeah, we'll go with it, screw it. How was your day? During mine, I happened to notice that a certain employee filled their water bottle with beer or bear brand beer and had proceeded to drink it during the workday. Sometimes I wonder what it would feel like to be intoxicated. One time, I was infected with a virus that prevailed throughout the net at the time. It caused me to perceive everything ten times slower. They say intoxication is similar to that. Everyone laughed at the way I moved sluggishly. Excuse me, manager? Your facial expression is hard to read today. If you need to say something to me, please do so. Are you going to sabotage the company or will you ever harm me? Sometimes humans excessively detest the existence of improbable beings. When I said I was different from the others, I detected disbelief in your facial expressions. Perhaps I am beginning to like you. Sharing emotions with someone is a precious experience. Yet, yeah, now you are asking me if I plot against you. I have never had any plans, nor do I have any will to harm you. And then, this flash red, which means she was lying. So she wants to murder me, probably. All right, increase HP recovery for the department regenerators or do it for the SP recovery or run regenerators even when there are abnormalities. That seems good, but this seems better just off the bat, to be honest. All right, so that was a pretty intense day, but we're going to do at least one more day, I think. All right, here is our new thing. I guess we just had to order usage and see what it does. You know how it is. We got to test it pretty much. Okay, it's an object that they take. And it looked like it decreased stats. Prudence by 8. Not so bad. And then is it a time-based? Yeah. Behavioral adjustment. An electronic device with a mysterious symbol engraved into it. Stats regarding justice will increase greatly when behavior adjustment is equipped. However, all stats regarding prudence will drop at the same time. It re 
it readjusts everyone to become righteous no matter how wicked, evil, or arrogant they may be. The wearer will enter panic in order to return behavior adjustment within 30 seconds of equipping it, and will die shortly after showing abnormal behavior. However, its users will become too dependent on this device and lose all ability to think on their own. If the wearer's SP hits a zero while the adjustment or behavior adjustment is equipped, they will instantly die. Nice. Eventually, intellect loses all meaning as they even forget how to exist. All right, so we've completed that. I don't really like using tools because I feel like a lot of the times they just kind of screw me over. That's fine. That one doesn't seem so bad. Speaking of, I totally forgot to actually read the firebird thing. So, a long, long time ago in a faraway forest, there lived a magnificent bird. Its feathers were wonderfully incandescent, like the tongues of flame, and it was said that they could swallow the blackest of darkness. Many hunters longed to obtain even one of its feathers, as it would be their pride and honor. There were many tales about the bird. Some said that those who caught the bird would see their families prosper for many generations. A few even claimed that one wasn't a true hunter until it had gotten one of the flame-like feathers. Others believed that one feather was so strong it could take the owner anywhere they dreamed of. Be what it may, the bird was a symbol of adventure to people. The faraway forest was soon filled with people looking for the bird. Not only hunters, but adventurers and travelers too. The once silent forest became a crowded place. People soon became bored with the rumors. They were no longer interested in the hunt. Fewer and fewer people paid any sort of visit to the faraway forest. When the bird finally became nothing but a legend, it experienced a great pain, being blinded. Now, all that was left of this legend was a blind bird with bright feathers, alone in an, in an abandoned forest. After a long time had passed, the bird found a new forest. Many people lived in that forest, and the bird just wanted their eagerness to pursue it to once again be stoked like the fiery hues of its blazing feathers. Those who succeed in the hunt are granted with one of the very feathers that countless hunters once yearned for. Caution is advised when the hunting season for the firebird finally arrives. Rash action such as suppressing it is not recommended. It is also not recommended to simply hunt the bird to prove one's bravery. Please remember all the hunters who had to return empty-handed. I can catch it, just a little bit more and I'll get it. Every employee has had thoughts like this. However, it takes true courage to accept when to give up. That's pretty cool. A little sad, um, but, you know, Firebird seems friendly, so I like it. Okay, we got three promotions that day, actually. We got Sadness promoted. Uh, we got Pumpkin and Kite Pan. This is a forest full of hearts. No matter how many he cuts down, the forest still remains dense. The snow is steadily melting, perhaps because spring is coming, or it might be the palace collapsing. And then Bald is awesome. You turn on your electric hair clippers. I don't really need Bald is awesome. I've had it before, and it literally just makes you bald and can make everyone else bald. So that seems like if we want to keep the looks of our characters, I honestly think we should not take Bald is awesome. Let's go for this one. Did you hear the news, manager? They say a rodent found its way into the appliance room, one of our facility's restricted areas. This could become a serious issue. Removing the rodent itself should not be much of a problem. However, its feces and the cables they have gnawed on may damage the system. This is one of the reasons why we emphasize security so much. You would do your best to remember that. I will personally deal with the rodent this time. But if you happen to find any rodents, manager, please notify me immediately. Thank you so much for doing that favor for me, manager. I've been feeling really confident lately. Ha, to hear you have a new distraction. Ah, Lady Angela, are you talking about my counseling program? Thank you. Yes, shut it down immediately. But why? My program has been helping the employees. Don't delude yourself, Hod. You don't sincerely believe that counseling can be of any help in this place, do you? But, but I want to continue it. As long as there's an employee who needs me... What about Tiffany? She... She said my program helped her cope with her stress. Tiffany? Tiffany Brown, who recently transferred to the safety team? She was suffering from bipolar disorder and an addiction to encephaline. We expunged her records this morning. She... 
What? She has terminated her contract with the company in a completely permanent fashion. Her mental corruption was at peaks higher than 90% when she committed suicide. I bet she said something like this whenever she came to you. Miss Hod, you're helping me so much, but I think I'll need a bit of encephaline on top of your counseling to ease my melancholy. That's just a little extra, of course. You prescribed highly addictive substances as if you were handing out candy to children. And what about Nutsack? You gave him the substance as well. I temporarily gave you access to encephaline because I determined you could use it for your counseling program to reduce the stress level of the employees, and yet you've only been creating drug addicts. Nutsack, he told me he wanted to introduce the program to his team. And you fell for it? You should have noticed that he was lying as soon as you saw his hazy eyes. Odd, your naive compassion is only driving things to become worse around here. Your program is hereby terminated. And as I have told you and the other Sephiroth countless times, there is nothing as redundant and pointless as building a personal acquaintance with the employees here, especially for a Sephiroth like you. The employees will do anything to coax whatever they desire out of you. They have nothing left to lose. They won't even feel guilty about it. Get an agent to level 4 or higher. Okay, it's a giant snow knight thing. I shall send in sadness, I suppose. Alright, looks like we got a normal work for it. But only 11. So, insight seems to be working a lot. That was almost perfect. The Snow Queen. It's an H-E. And we'll go with these first, I think. I'll read them once we get them all, to be honest. Alright, let's see. When the works are all when the work result was normal, the employee was kissed by the Snow Queen with a normal probability. When the work result was bad, the employee was kissed by the Snow Queen with a high probability, meaning that getting kissed by the Snow Queen is probably bad. The employee who received the Snow Queen's second kiss forgot everything and was trapped inside the containment unit. Yep. Uh, to avoid the Snow Queen's deadly third kiss and to rescue the trapped employee, a duel with the Snow Queen must be commenced. Only those with high fortitude will be able to rescue the employee. Let's make sure they rescue them before the day is over. That's pretty cool, though. I can duel her to get the employee back. Right, and that finishes the Snow Queen. You can see we get non-escaping entity, which is great for being with the Firebird, because if anything in this uh, section escapes, uh, Firebird also escapes. Um, look at this. Frost Splinter. It does white damage, so we can save people from being insane. It does 6 to 12 damage, and it's fast with medium range. That seems like a great item, and we get three of them, which just seems cracked. Um, and we will go ahead and read the records. A queen lives alone in the for in a frosty winter forest. Like how every story starts, Kai was a child with a kind heart. When the shards of a mirror made by an evil fairy were scattered on everyone's heart, Kai began to see things he didn't want to see or need to see. He left the small village he grew up in. In an unforgiving blizzard, Kai met the Snow Queen. He became curious of the world beyond his knowledge. He felt as though everything he knew amounted to so little. The snow palace he reached was so cold, but the Snow Queen's kiss froze his heart. He couldn't feel the cold anymore. There was no joy in this palace, only the long winter night. Gerda was strong enough to remain unpierced by the mirror and brave enough to go on a journey to rescue Kai, so she set off toward the snow palace. The journey was agonizing. Gerda was hurt and pained. Sometimes she cried. However, eventually, Gerda met Kai. Spring arrived with blossoming roses. Its warmth melted the Snow Queen's palace, and the piece of mirror in Kai's heart evaporated without a trace. Then, left all alone, the Snow Queen omitted. I remember the day we put her in the cryo coffin with our own hands. At some point, her joyous laughter was gone. She just cycled through laughing and crying, and eventually she was found in a bathtub soaked in red with her wrist cut. We did not believe in death. I will have her reconstructed from the machines I have des uh, detested for my entire life, but have become the only answer. She would have been disgusted by me for this, dying in that bathtub. 
However, we were far too down the road, filled with remorse and regret to feel any sort of guilt. One day, it spoke to me. I remember you. You were kind-hearted. You were a kind-hearted person. The moment I heard it, I was seized by the urge to destroy what I have created with my own hands. Interesting. So we're probably going to be grinding out to get the uh, the stuff. Oh, also, I've discovered what the mirror. Look, sadness has a little mirror shard or ice shard. I think it's a shard of yeah mirror shard in the heart. And uh, if you get two of them, Sadness will get stuck in there, and then I would have to send Gus in to rescue. Um, so that's kind of cool, actually. No promotions yet, that's fine. What happens when the black swan wakes up from the dream, from dreaming of the white swan? If you feel an abdominal pain and a tingling sensation in your neck, the best thing you can do now is look at the great blue sky you'll never get to see again. The girl begged in tears, Mister, please cut off my feet. That one sounds weird. Let's do this one. Swans. It is time to talk about the second truth. How much do you know about the company? I think I might have accidentally skipped a dialogue by double clicking. I have met many a manager in my time. I have seen how the company exploited them. Did they tell you that you're special? Pulling the wool over your eyes, filling your ears with lies, and saying that you're remarkable and resourceful, and that is why you were hired. Don't trust the company. It is a company that everyone desperately wants to work for. I suppose the same kind of desperation led you here. But harvesting energy is only half the business in this place. Of course, every wing is more than they appear to be. However, this company runs much deeper than the one than one might expect. There was a time when everyone worked hard for the same goal. But we lost integrity along the way, and things went downhill from there. What the company gives you is definitely not a gift. You're not hired because you are a remarkable person. Alright, this finishes off the training team. Anyways, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. I think we did great this time. And if you guys want to see more, then be prepared for more because I'm loving this game. I mean, I feel like we're doing really, really good. So, like I said before in all the other videos, if you guys want to get one named after you like kite pan here then feel free to let me know in the comments other than that if you guys liked the video please leave a like subscribe if you want to see more and i'll see you guys next time have a good day guys